we've been using corticosteroids to treat COPD exacerbations for many decades. Studies in the 1980s suggested that they were more effective than giving a placebo. What wasn't clear at that time uh, is uh, how long one would give it and how what dose one would give it. And that study suggesting that it would be work was based on a very few number of patients, I think maybe around 20 patients. A large multi-center study was done in the 1990s through the Veterans Administration that suggested that indeed corticosteroids were effective compared to placebo and corticosteroids were not necessary beyond a two-week period. If one were to give corticosteroids beyond that time, the problem was uh, one of uh, uh, side effects which were much higher, but yet the efficacy, the improvement uh, in the patient wasn't any greater. Well, this le led to uh, a uh, period of time where we were giving uh, large doses of, of uh, intravenous corticosteroids, uh, like the article said, like the study did, uh, and we gave it for two weeks. But in recent years, this too has been questioned uh, as to whether uh, we need to give it so long and in such high doses. And the answer is to both the answers, no. Uh, as a matter of fact, just this past year, an article came out suggesting that we only need to give corticosteroids for five days. And we don't necessarily have to give it continuously with intravenous for five days. The study was a study from uh, five hospitals in Switzerland, and they compared this to a two-week regimen. They only gave the corticosteroids for a few days and then switched over to oral medications from intravenous, and five days was as good as the two weeks. So I think that the bottom line of this uh, uh, answer to this question is, we need to give less and we need to give uh, fewer days of the corticosteroid. Perhaps an equivalent of about 40 milligrams of prednisone daily uh, for as little as five days would be as effective as higher doses for a longer period of time. Steroids are helpful for improving lung function as well as symptoms due to a COPD exacerbation. Most studies suggest that using regimens of steroids that start with a moderate or high dose can improve outcomes. In my practice, I treat for 10 to 14 days for optimal duration. The reason for this is that an often cited clinical trial showed a benefit of 10 days compared to three days, with the 10-day course of treatment being more effective than a three-day course in improving the outcome. Another large study did not find that an eight-week regimen of steroids was superior to a two-week one and that the maximal benefit occurred within the first two weeks. Therefore, the optimal duration appears to be in that 10 to 14 day window, and that is what I use.